Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. I participated in a LinkedIn Connect event three days back. So we had the global CEO of LinkedIn, Ryan Roslansky, for this event. This was his first visit to India as the CEO of LinkedIn. It was a great session. So during his speech, he talked about identifying talent and potential in people beyond their resumes. And he shared an interesting incident. I just want to share it with all of you. So this happened in the ITC hotel he was staying just a few days back. So one of the hotel staff members, he saw Ryan in, in the hotel in the morning and he expressed his interest to talk to him. He told Ryan that, you know, he was so grateful to him and his company because he got his job in this hotel through LinkedIn. So he thanked Ryan for the opportunity. Ryan spent next 15 minutes with this hotel staff to know more about him and his background and things like that. So he was actually from a small town, didn't go to any premier institute, but worked hard to get this job. After that 15 minute conversation, Ren called a senior leader from his team in India and said, I want to refer someone to your team. The CEO of LinkedIn referring someone from the hotel he was staying for a job in his company. Crazy, right? Because Ren saw talent and potential in this person during that 15 minute conversation. You see, LinkedIn's mission as a company is this, People with equal talent should have access to equal opportunity. And LinkedIn wants to create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce through their platform. That's their mission. It was heartening to know that LinkedIn CEO was leading by example. He took time and effort to understand that the person. It was amazing, right? The next day I was chatting with someone from LinkedIn with our account manager, Karen Ahuja. We were talking about, you know, what's happening in the industry, layoff, the current market situation. We we're talking about Elon Musk, like how Elon Musk fired someone over a tweet. I'm sure that you read the news, right? The context is Elon Musk fired a Twitter employee. His name is Eric Fron, a very senior employee, because he publicly corrected him on the platform. So while we were talking, Karen pulled out his phone and showed me a direct message which he sent to Eric through LinkedIn the previous night after he read this news. He doesn't know Eric personally, you know, just like that he sent this message. The summary of the message is this, I'm really sorry to know about what happened. If you need any support, please feel free to reach out to me. See, empathy is a critical leadership skill. When top management demonstrates empathetic leadership and compassion, you will see it at different levels. There's a ripple effect. It's a cascading effect. And it becomes the culture of the organization. Before Ryan, Jeff Weiner, well, he was the CEO of LinkedIn. Now he's a chairman. He's one of the most compassionate leaders you'll ever see. Now, I really admire him and his authenticity and communication skills. And I highly recommend you to watch his videos on YouTube. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm a great fan. So Jeff made remarkable changes in the company and he created an organization where compassion is an important value. Compassion is empathy in action. And you know what? Ryan Roslansky was Jeff's first hire after he joined LinkedIn as CEO in, I think it was in 2008. Leaders influence the culture of the organization. From Jeff to Ryan to Karen, your environment affects your behavior. Our world needs more empathetic leaders more than ever. You know, there were leaders in our history who sacrificed their lives to save others. Now, sadly, we have leaders who are sacrificing others by cutting jobs, etc., to protect their own self-interest and to make more profit. As Simon Sinek says, great leaders will not sacrifice people for their numbers. They will sacrifice numbers to save people. That's compassion. You know, it's not about head count, it's about heart count. During tough times, of course, these leaders take tough decisions, tough calls. You know, they cut pay, they cut variable pay bonus, they cut travel, they cut marketing budget. But their strategy will be, let us all suffer. Let us all suffer a little so that none of us will suffer a lot. And when companies welcome employees, they welcome them to the family. You know, do we lay off our family members when you face financial struggles? 
when people feel safe and protected by the leadership in the organization the natural reaction is to trust and support they will give their best to ensure that in everyone will rise together and bounce back as a team empathy is about being concerned about the human part of the resource not just the output and if you're a leader you don't try to be perfect be authentic tell the truth be an excellent example of being human leading with heart is a top leadership trait and it allows you to build strong teams and great results empathy is a choice lead with empathy lead with your heart thank you so much for watching i am srijit krishnan stay happy stay healthy